Hello, my peeps. I think I'm live. I'm trying to get everything caught up. My one camera keeps freezing. So <laughs> let's see how long this lasts. Uh, I'm trying to rejig my my Facebook in the in the background to see if I can get comments to see if somebody will tell me if this is working or not. Let me see, 701. Okay. So a couple minutes ago, um, I had my desk completely covered in an, another project, getting ready for um, an in-person class. How long has it been since I've had an in-person class? It seems like forever. Um, I think the last one was August of last year, where we started out doing a little holiday head start, as I like to call it, made some Christmas cards. And got all excited about the Christmas season because um, we were open for the summer, um, only to then be shut down again. I think it was in September, and not be able to do anything again until you know sometime after Christmas. So I'm getting everything ready, and I'm just I'm trying not to forget anything. I I, I mean it's easy it's easy to forget blocks, ink, you know things people might need. Um, as soon as I can uh, establish where it is that is going on with any and all of these cameras. And if we're even live, I'll show you the cards we're making. Sorry, Facebook is just totally not cooperating with me tonight. And I can't tell if I can't see any comments or anything. Okay, so in the, well, I want it open. Um, okay, so in the class, we're gonna make three gift card holders. So this is, uh, this is just one of them. You get a half a pack of DSP. It's got some awesome DSP and die cuts in it. So a lot of this, a lot of the work's actually done for you and you can pick them whichever way you want, but I'll show you how to make these. And I got some extra ones of these cut out and stuff. So cool little gift card holders that you can make out of whichever DSP you want. And then you get to make five cards. So five of these are samples. And then I just kept going or like five of these are the actual cards, but <clears throat> because I just kept having fun, uh, I think this camera's starting to freeze too. Um, I just kept going. <laughs> so, are you allowed to swear on the online? Fucker. Um, okay, so that's one of the cards. I love this card. And I did get a little carried away with the die cuts, but I couldn't decide. I laid all three of them on there because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. And I liked the way it looked with all of them. So I left all of them on. Uh, oops, sorry, just a minute. I'm trying to do two things at once. So that means, of course, I'm failing at both. Um, this one's awesome in its pure simplicity. And these little die cuts, die cuts that come with the set. Oh, I love them. Love them. So there's another one. And basically what it is, is you're going to get this pack of DSP and all the die cuts and I'll, it'll give you a whole bunch of card bases. And I've cut you a set of these mats and I've cut you a set of these. And um, so you, but you can pick and choose. Like if you'd rather this be a different DSP or, or not the cheers on it or something like that, well, you can just mix and match all your stuff. You'll have the whole pile in front of you. So this is one layout with like a basic full full piece DSP. There's another DSP layout. There's another DSP layout. Who does not love little camper vans? So I'm basically just going to walk you through how these are all made and what dimensions you need to cut and then help you make your cards. Because you'll have, you can choose whichever ones you want. Like if you like this layout, but you want this to be the camping layout, then make it the camping layout. Uh, Looking sharp. This is one of my favorite layouts, and I used it I think, just last week in my card. Um, and then this is a version of this layout only sideways. Yeah, my camera keeps freezing on me. <laughs> and then this is, I'll just put this down here, maybe they'll all catch up eventually. And then this is like to give you an idea of what I mean for you can pick um, the like looking sharp or the never lost, right? So you can pick and choose your own ones. So uh, the reason I tell you all of this is I'm prepping all these pieces is I have one spot left. So I have like one full kit um, of the paper, the die cuts, the embellishments, card bases, the whole bit. So if you'd like to join us in Marnville at the Leisure Center, nice and spaced out, roomy, clean, it's all good, easy parking. Um, let me know, I have one spot left and then uh, I might actually advertise for the locals some drop-in rates. So if you just want to come like make one card or something, that might be an option. Um, 
I'm not sure if anybody else is going to drive all the way out to make one card, but if you're already here and you happen to be at the leisure center and you wanted to stop in and make a card, you could do that. So yes, I have those ready. Uh, I still, I would love to know if I'm live. I would love to know if this is all working like it's supposed to, but flipping Facebook is, is being a bugger. And I'm going to give this one more try and then I'm just going to ignore it and I'm going to start talking and rambling on and hoping for the best. Uh, we are making a card that I didn't finish. So I can't even show you the completed card yet. <laughs> I started it, I got part way through and then <clears throat> believe it or not, I was in an all day thing on Saturday. Oh, hello, Dana. Yay, the comments finally came up. Um, I like ramble on aimlessly. Um, I was in an all day card making thing on Saturday with a bunch of our senior leaders across the um, country. Uh, my team leader being one of them. And it's just, it's such, oh, it's such a good day. And you, you learn so many different things and you get all these techniques, and you make all these cool things. Um, and then, so each each hour there's another lady who presents and I think there's 12 of them, 12 or 13 of them. Um, but it, yeah, if you fall behind, sometimes it's hard to catch up. <laughs> um, so this, I can show you now here, I can show you a couple samples. This was one of the first ones I think we made. Uh, except for my camera's freezing. Um, so basically, if all of a sudden we go off, it's because the camera finally just like froze. And honestly, I'm not sure I have the wherewithal to fight with technology anymore today. So this was one of the cards we made that has this cool like double gate fold on like, the back of the card. Um, and everybody, basically, they just show you how to make a card. So you can make whatever pattern, whatever decorations, whatever you want. This DSP is in the new catalog and it's one of the hostess rewards and you get this like huge pad and it has got some of the greatest like colorful beautiful oh i just love it and then these glossy dots that are on it um oh my god they're gorgeous embellishments i'm, I'm lately it's just it's got to be bright bright and happy <laughs> that's all i want so that was one of the cards we made i will admit i was constantly interrupted on saturday by everything dog people everything um and so I didn't finish very many of the projects. Usually my challenge to myself, because I, I, I enjoy you know, challenging myself, is to um, do them as they do them. And like sometimes you don't get the measurement the head, so you got to really be paying attention. But the problem with that is if you lose track, then you're, you're hooked. Um, this was one of the other ones. I'm trying to remember who did the first one. Uh, Marcy, that's who did the first one. Uh, and she, I believe, is in Ontario. I have no picture. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. So then this one was towards the afternoon. This was Shauna from Saskatchewan. And this is a, you could put different things in here. I didn't quite finish it because I wasn't really sure what I was going to use it for, but I was just having fun with the decorations. I was having a lot of fun with the decorations. So each, each new level, I'm sorry, I'm getting totally distracted by the fact that my camera's not following along. So I'm trying to make sure I'm not going too fast, but my camera's not showing me anything. Well, I guess I know I'm making a thank you card because I wrote thank you on the inside, but um, I think you can put all these little things in here. Um, you could put <clears throat> skinny chocolates or tea bags or other flat things, <laughs> my pictures. Um, this could be like a really cool, especially if you have like four kids or something, you could put a picture of each or four grandkids, put a picture of each of them in, you know, we love you grandma or like, you know, something. But anyways, this is the multi-pocket card which was cool and fun to decorate. And some, like I said, I like to challenge myself. So one of the other challenges as well was grab a piece of paper that you can't see yourself using and try to make it work. Hence the reason I picked the pink stripes because yeah, I just don't do pink generally. But it was a fun card and this, it makes a really good template if nothing else. But I, once I started putting those flowers on, I couldn't stop and I was having a great old time with the white flowers on the pink background. And then this, oh, this ribbon is in the new catalog and it's, uh, I know it's I know it's ribbon, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's so soft and ties pretty bows. So that was another one of the projects we made. This suite, this is the suite we're using for our class in September. I promise I will start making something soon. Um, I'm frustrated by the camera, <laughs> quite honestly, but um, I love, love, love this suite. What did I do the other half made card? Um, so I made this. This is for holding your dimensionals. Um, and as was mentioned during the thing, you could put like a cellophane bag with a cookie in it, or you could put other snacks in it to hand it out. Um, okay, 
you serious i have no idea what's showing up on your screen but look at this suite this suite is so cute it's i think it's called happier than happy i i, I think i just used the wrong name it has got a ton of die cuts in it happier than happy it is fantastic i love it <laughs> not surprisingly i love it <clears throat> how cute it is and then i started to make another card using the same suite but I never finished this one because this was one of the last cards I made. And we had this one I was just doing based on her comments that she was making as she was going. And uh, this one involved some math. So it was a little harder. This piece is not attached. So this is the zigzag card, which I think is what I wrote. Now that I, now that I say it out loud, I think that's actually the card I said we were going to make this week. I knew it was one of the two of them, but now that I say that, I think I might have put the wrong card on the schedule because we're doing the double pop-up, which is one of the ones we did. So I give up on the camera and I'm going to stop rambling. and <laughs> I'm just going to start cutting and uh, I hope that I'm not going too fast because like I said, nothing is showing up right. And so I don't know how quickly I'm whipping through this stuff. Okay, so what I can show you, <laughs> nope, you know what, I can't. I'm just going to, it doesn't make any sense the way it is right now. So I'm just going to cut some pieces. So this will be like a, this will be almost like a mystery card only instead of you making the card, you're just going to watch and see what the mystery unfolds to be. So I'll, I'm going to start <clears throat> with a seven. And by the way, people, did you notice that even though I had that class all over my desk, so I had to clean my desk off so I could like spread that stuff all over it. And then I pushed it all out of the way in time, but I actually had the arm of my cutter is out on my desk. There's actually that much space, um, which is good because I need to make seven by seven. And I, I could do it, like just cut off an inch and a half, eight and a half by 11. Yeah, whatever the math is for the other one. Um, but look, I'm doing it properly. So now that that's cut, I can now close that because that's the one measurement that we need the thing to be that big for. Okay, so this is six, or sorry, seven by seven. And then I am going to score it at three and a half. This is where it gets tricky because <laughs> when you're getting frustrated, I'm um, watching hockey. Oh, that's right. I forgot about hockey. I know. What kind of Canadian am I? I'm, I'm surprised I haven't been like somebody, the mysterious like hockey gods haven't, you know, slap checked me with a hockey stick upside the head because I never pay attention. I never watch it. <laughs> I'm just, I, you know, I'm lucky I get to keep my Canadian uh, citizenship, not being a hockey fan. Okay. So, I, sorry, I had to turn that so I could see what I was doing. Um, this is seven by seven square. I've scored it in half by three and a half. And then I need to cut from the score line down. So the beauty of this little um, trimmer is I can go, I can find, like I can see through here to see where this is and where my blade lines up. And I just poke my blade in. And now I can just pull down and I have this nice clean cut <laughs> um, because that is so much easier than doing it the other way. Now I'm going to score both of these going from the like top outer corner in. Now this is where it gets a little trickier. And so I think that if I was to actually fold these, which I'll get my bone folder out later, but if I was to actually fold these, so I could see what I was doing. There's an idea. I can fit it in this way. So now I can see like this corner is going in the track and this point is going in the track and i'll just adjust six or seven times i'm actually just going to use instead of I, I tend to once i get it all lined up sometimes i tend to knock everything out of whack with that little plate but i have my stylus that comes with my score table and i'm just going to use it i'm going to score that corner in i'm going to do the same thing over here so part of the reason that I wanted to do this from scratch and I didn't <clears throat> pre-cut everything, apart from the fact that I'm like way behind today, was a lot of times when you see a card like this, you think, oh, wow, how many hours did it take to make that? And some cards, and I will tell you, whoever made this card, like whoever initially designed it, and Tamara, if you do tune in, I know uh, tomorrow's the start of football season. Oh my God, Nancy, how are you going to watch crafting, hockey, football? Good thing there's no curling or the voice. Um, I can't remember. I know that's I know that's Don that watches those, but I can't think of any other shows. Um, so yes, the design of this card 
I am sure it took somebody a long time to figure all the bits and pieces and how it all moves and what they wanted to do with it. But the actual making of the card, it does come together quite quickly, surprisingly. So I am going to cut two more pieces that are three and a half by three and a half. And again, as soon as I start cutting, I think to myself, why do I insist on using dark colored pages? Why do I, why do I not just make things out of white? <laughs> They're probably easier to see. But alas, I do not. <laughs> okay, so this is three and a half by three and a half. Uh, threw my other little piece out. These are good sized pieces and these make great um, sentiments for Christmas. And one of the things that is so pretty is when you get something this dark and you heat emboss it with white or silver or something, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I've got those two squares. Now, <laughs> so I was having one of those days where I went to start this card and I was originally using different colors. So I went to grab one of the colors and it, it turns out, oh yeah, that's retired. I don't have any more of that. So then I went to grab the other one and there's not even a full sheet in my little folder where I keep the colors, all there are are pieces. So I grabbed all the little pieces and I'm just gonna hope that I can make everything I need out of those little pieces. And it's a bit of an odd color combination, honestly, but <clears throat> I'm hoping it works. I mean, it's not odd in the fact that nature puts blue and green together all the time, but was it what I intended when I started? No, it is not. Okay, when your card is that close to being the right size, don't cut it, cut it all, you just make it all janky. <laughs> the word that popped into my head. Here, let's try this again. This time I won't screw it up. All right. Um, Dana and Nancy, did you watch on the weekend and make, make stuff as everybody was going? Nancy's a multitasker. You know what? I don't know if there's a way to get through life these days without being a multitasker. There's just, there's so many demands, so many things going on. Feels like we all have to be. Um, and this one, six and a quarter by two and three quarters. <clears throat> I think when this card was made, um, it might've been slightly retrofitted or maybe they made it just, they were smart enough to make it right from the beginning um, to fit the six inch DSP. Normally I've got to open the thing. Um, if you were using the 12 by 12 DSP, it wouldn't matter as much. This is the tricky one I gotta look because it's right there in the, in the brown part. There's some brown plastic, that's where the measurement happened to fall. Um, yeah, if you have the 12 by 12 sheets, you can make it a different size, but with this one, you're really maxing out at the, and I'll show you here. I'll show you the little bit of the card I can show you, but <laughs> is, um, so this card is seven, but this is six, right? So that this, or six and a quarter, and then this is six. So that this, a piece of six inch DSP will work. Because I will tell you, this horizon paper, which I meant to look and see if it was still in stock because they've announced the, the last chance sale. So a bunch of stuff's about to retire. And uh, some stuff, it, I'd be surprised if it was still there. I mean, the sale started on Wednesday. That's only yesterday, but still, I'd be surprised if some of it was there. And one of the first things I think that's going to go is this horizon paper, because it's phenomenal. I'm looking for my measurements. There we go. Two and three quarters. So this is probably the, the time consuming part of this whole thing is cutting all these pieces of paper. But so worth it in the end. So what I'm going to do is because I, I didn't have time to pick the decorations for this particular one. Uh, I'm going to cut the paper for this so you see how the card goes together. And then once I get the card together, I'm gonna to switch to the other card and put the decorations on it <clears throat> that came with it. Six by two and a half. Okay, so these are all just layered, right? There's the, the eighth inch layer, the 16th of an inch layer. And these ones are the eighth, eighth of an inch layer. So that's all we've done. We've cut all our layers. So as, as you can probably gather by the measurements we cut, we're, we're masking this 
asking, matting this, these pieces on the blue pieces I just cut. All right, so that's going to make those four that are going to go like this. And then the green pieces that I cut. <clears throat> and yeah, I could, like I said, I should have picked a little bit more distinctly different <laughs> colors so that you could maybe see it easier. But the green pieces make the base of the card. So I'm going to score all my lines. And I'm going to fold in my little, this is basically, this is one of those fancy cards that moves. And this, this basically is the whole mechanism right here, is these two folds. And one I folded quite well, and the other one I did not. So I'll be trimming or jigging or something not to make it work. There you go. So now we've made ourselves a shirt. <laughs> okay, so this is the card. And it's going to open like this and fold up. And these, these two pieces are going to go on top of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue these two pieces down to this triangle. Oh, look at these amazing dies. I haven't had a chance to play with these amazing dies yet. They're on the side of my desk though, because they're the next thing I'm playing with. But <clears throat> for the purpose of having something white behind this green, so you can see, this is the triangle we're going to put the adhesive on. And we're going to fasten the square to the adhesive like this, just so it's a little clearer to see. And we're going to get out my favorite, tear and tape because we know about tear and tape. I was fighting with a, a wonky seal earlier <clears throat> and thought, see, tear and tape doesn't give me grief. Tear and tape is your friend. So we're doing this on both of the bottom ones. Oh, you guys haven't answered. So Nancy or Dana, did either of you guys participate in the SSS Silver, I can never remember what the S stands for. Sister Silver Supporting Sisters. I don't know, there are some awesome ladies and they do this, I think it's three times a year. And there's there's about 12 or 15, I think, ladies in this group altogether. And <clears throat> on any given time, there's usually, you know, 12 of them that show up to do stuff. They go all the way from Ontario to, um, to BC where they live. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. They share some of the best tips and projects and it's just fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up in the corner. Stay as close as I can to being straight. Straight is a challenge for me, but I think I'm just naturally, I like to call it unique as opposed to weird, but um, I'm just naturally weird. And uh, so, you know, why put it something on straight? Uh, I do remember growing up, it was the running joke in my family to get me to cut like the cake and stuff because I could never cut a straight piece. So what would start out as these small little squares that lasted for maybe one cut. And then all of a sudden you were getting, you know, pie shaped and big, huge pieces and because I, I just can't seem to cut straight. Hey, that was an odd little story to tell you from child, but there you go. I have no filter. One never knows what I might say. Okay. So there's my two pieces now. So now, because we made the little foldy part, <clears throat> now these pieces fold and stand. And there's our, ta-da. So when you look at it, you're looking at it like this. And again, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. Or even, hell, I don't even know if I'm on screen until like five minutes later because my camera's not doing what it's supposed to. Um, so now we're going to put, we're going to decorate these things. So keeping in mind that these, the bottom here is, is like, this is the bottom. So when we fold our card flat, the two pieces that go together in the middle are the bottoms. So when we decorate it, we got to decorate one this way and one this way, because this is the bottom of the square. Okay. So I am going to take my seal, which I replaced the janky one and took a new one out. Uh, apparently that's my word of the day, janky. <laughs> I'm going to put these little guys on. Now, it is a little harder to tell. You'll, you'll be able to see it better on the other card. But um, this paper I picked, it just it looked like water. I was coming, I figured I was going to come up with some water decorations for it. Because, <laughs> back to my squirrel moment, I love, love these um, edge pieces. And yes, I did see the tree and thought, ooh, or the leaves, I mean, and I thought, ooh, this is amazing. 
but I have lots of leaf punches and leaf dies and stuff. And I'm like, I could probably like, you know, come up with something similar. And then I saw this and all I saw with this was waves. I figured somehow this is going to be waves. And that's actually what put me over the edge and made me buy it. So I'm picking all this paper stuff because somehow waves are coming onto it. But you'll notice on the other one that it's, there's a, a, a much more obvious grass sky scenery going on. Uh, now I'm going to, um, I did cut it <clears throat> and I did pay attention to which way it went. Yes, that way. Okay. So this is how these go. But like I said, they have to go like this. Like, so I took them from this and turned them like this because when I stand the card up, they're going to go back to the way they were. We're all following, right? Um, so that lovely multi pocket card there that I showed you, the pink one with the white flowers, that was the lovely Shauna from Moose Jaw. And she's also the person who I saw there's all, there's all these tips when the seal first came out, there's a bit of a learning curve. <clears throat> and sometimes if you like, if you don't kind of bend your seal up when you're done, if you just pull it, you sometimes snap it and you send the adhesive back into the container. So, <clears throat> wait, I keep, there we go. So to get it started again, you can like rub it on your silicone mat or you can use your fingers and get your fingers all sticky. But it was Shauna who I saw doing a video the one time and she said, just use your skin. So now when you, if you see me do that like that, that's where I got that tip and it works like charm. Yep. This is what I try to do. I try to, see, works like a charm. Now I, would, I wouldn't have to do that if I would do the right thing, which is this. So run your seal, tip it over. Run your seal, tip it back. Then it doesn't snap all the way back in. Yes. Okay. So yeah, my, my color choices might not have been the best. I was thinking I, it was supposed to be two tones of blue because I would like said I was going full on water for this card, but um, yes, the navy and the evergreen just kind of blend into each other, but that's okay. The paper does all the, all the fancy work on this one anyway, so. Okay. This one in. And again, this one is the same, like I can tell which way, because I cut it and I know that this little tiny bit of pink is what I cut off. So I know that's the bottom, but uh, I'll show you on the other one. That's a little more obvious. What we're doing. And then the trick of the card is um, to make sure you, you decorate it the right way so that you it holds up for you the way you want it to. So that's why I want to get to that step. Uh, and I just realized, I don't know if I actually, because I got thrown off by the camera at the beginning, which is still not working and is still totally throwing me off. Um, I don't know if I ever finished the story of, I started to make this card, but I couldn't figure out what sentiment I wanted to put on it. And so I couldn't finish. And then because there was so much going on, I moved on. Well, funny part, I didn't actually def decide on a sentiment yet. <laughs> um, and you'll notice it's critical to making this card. So here's how this one came together and decorated up. Now I'm going to show you, like I said, th so that's the card, right? Um, and sometimes putting the card together is easy. It's the decorating it that is the more challenging part. Um, but it does go together simple. And that was you know, part of the point was to show you that the fanciest cards, somebody took the time to design them and tell us how to make them. So when we make them, they're way easier. So you see on this card, it's a much more obvious grass and sky. But this is how this card goes, right? So it opens up like this. Now, the trick to making this card work is you'll notice if I just stand it up like this, which the overhead camera is very good for. If you just stand it up like this, your card slowly is gonna go creep, 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 creep all the way down, right? So that's not very festive and not what we're looking for. <clears throat> so the trick is to put your embellishments here and here on dimensionals to hold the card open. And then you just like pick these up and fold it. But when you open it like this, the dimensionals are gonna hold it. So this card actually came, my lovely friend, um, pre-cut everything. So now I just have to figure out where stuff goes because I never actually got that far. One of the things she did was she cut this fence with foam. So you could put um, just dimensionals on it, but this is the foam sheet. And I know that this is very frugal of me, but I'm keeping these little tiny squares in the middle because they're going to make 
perfect dimensionals all on their own. And uh, waste not walk up. So I'm going to pop these little guys out and save them as, oops, pull the back off that one. Uh, I like, I, I'm going to be using them here in probably two seconds. Okay, I pulled the back off that one. But I can tell you that I'm going to pop this tree up. So I'll just put one on the back of the tree. Um, yeah. We got to save the earth and save money. There you go, two reasons to, to do that. So on the one side, I can use this fence. And on the other side, it's designed to put like the little sentiment here. And then we can put the other fence here and then we'll put like some grass and some stuff. So this is where I said it all derailed the other day because I needed to put a sentiment and pop it up and I couldn't decide what I was doing. So yes, a smarter person would have decided what they were doing before they started. But hey, we've all established that is just not me today. So as I look on my desk, because that's that's my general design plan, what's closest? What can I reach without having to move? Where's my other set? There we go. Yep, you need me singing too, don't you? See, the reason I'm scared to get up on a live video is because my office chair has wheels. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> um, I am afraid of going to sit back down and going arse over tea kettle, as it were. Ooh, there's a happy Father's Day in here, good. Pretty sure there was. Um, and to do it live where everybody hears me scream and <laughs> all the banging and falling as I go flying across the room. Uh, Dana, not, I, I, just because I don't watch hockey does not mean I'm not a total, whoever's from Edmonton, I hope you win. So go Oilers, go. But I am curious what the score is, if there is a score. Um, I have no idea what time the game started. I think the last time it was started at six. So I'm going to guess maybe it's, this one starts at six. So with any luck, it's not 10 to seven by now because the stamp looks weird. Um, again, not a big hockey watcher, but that last game, the scores kept getting reported during one of the lives I was watching. And uh, it just seemed to me like a very high scoring game. Like there shouldn't have been that many goals, <laughs> but I do not know for sure. I put that very messy step there. Okay, so I put Father's Day and I will take out my lovely dimensional holder. So as you can imagine on my desk, I am constantly burying everything. <laughs> Right, because projects are going and things are getting buried. So dimensionals are one of the things I'm constantly looking for. So I made this dimensional holder and thought, oh, perfect. I put my dimensionals in here. So now every time I go to look for my dimensionals, I start digging through stuff on my desk and then go, oh, wait, they have their own spot. So I have to recondition myself. And then this dimensional holder is going to be awesome. But once I finally do realize what I'm talking about or what I'm looking for, it is super handy to have them just sitting there. You know, it's funny because on the stamp, it looks like the, the letters are different sizes, but like on the label, but when you do this, it actually looks pretty good. Okay. So I want this to go here. So I've got my dimensionals ready and I want this to go here. So I'm going to put my happy Father's Day. See, and it, it doesn't take much. Like all I'm catching, oops, it's, met, it's much later, but there we go. All I'm all I'm really catching is the corner of this, but it's still enough. And then I can peel the back off of this guy. Get that other piece out that I couldn't get out the last time. So this foam sheet is amazing stuff. Um, I thought of a project I'm gonna try to make with making frames out of it. Um, so we'll see how that works. But so you can you can just cut foam, but you can also like stick your paper on like stick your paper to the foam. It's got sticky side on it. So put it down and then you basically die cut it. And so your stuff's on top of it when you cut die cut it through. It's amazing. OK, so I'm going to look. I like these to have a little curve to them, but let's see if I can still do that with the foam. OK, so then this one and it doesn't matter that I'm not. I don't know that my big meat hooks out of the way. Um, like I'm not hitting the same part of the card. The, the trick is just to make it, oh, shoot, I should have put something underneath that. Just a minute. Let's see, before I push it all the way down. So I didn't, I didn't totally like, you know, put my fist on it and give it a good rub down to make it stick. Because I, I like to just 
pop it in and make sure my card stays. Because if not, um, I've done it wrong. But in this case, it is staying. But also in this case, I kind of wish I had some grass underneath it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull up as much as I can without ripping my paper. Not many. There. <laughs> and then I have this other one, which has no adhesive on the back. I'm going to use my two. Ah, I'm going to go with four of them. I'm going to use my best friend, the glue dots. And here's to you, Diane Hutchinson. I'm going to roll it like a butter. <laughs> Oops. And I'm going to. I'm going to put it in the four corners. Now, the beauty of it, it with the foam, it looks great. But the one thing I do like, and because the, the way this card is, it's going to have to have, it's either going to have to be handed to somebody or I'm going to have to make like a DSP envelope for it because it's not the, not the size it fits. Actually, it might fit in one of our, it will fit in one of our slimline envelopes. But there's, there's a little extra room. So it doesn't matter if it's a little bit thicker. It doesn't have to be super flat because chances are it's not going through the mail. I'm probably just handing it to somebody. It is not, in fact, my Father's Day card for my father because I made him one with the set that came out of the, the mini catalog that just retired or is about to retire, I should say, um, because it was the perfect card that harkens back. Do you like that word? Harkens back to our childhood, my childhood, not his. And um, oh, I just love it. So that's what his card was made out of. But somebody will get this happy Father's Day. So the reason I like to do this, so I put two glue dots here where these fingers are. And then I'm just kind of bowing this up and down like this and, and then gluing it with the glue dots at the front. So now, let's see if I can show it to you this way. Yeah, there you go. Where? Figure out which direction I'm going. So I got a little bit of bow to my fence. And so yes, it's gonna get all squished when I do this, but it's still, when I open it, it's still gonna have that little bit of bow because it's glued that way. Um, and it just gives it that bit more dimension. It makes it look a bit more real. So this is like going through the gates into the garden and all the pretty things. So now we just need to finish decorating up here. And then one of the best embellishments that, <laughs> that they have come out with in a very long time is retiring. So if you like these embellishments, get them before they're gone. That would be the pebbles. <laughs> I love the pebbles. I have a very skinny piece I'm trying to put a thing on. So even though these are super tiny little um, dimensionals, I'm still going to cut one in half. The little strips I saved are just a bit too big. Oh, but this is going to work. Um, yes, if you've watched me before, you know I do like my dimensionals. I like to pop, pop things up and pop things up on top of the popped up things on top of the popped up things. That's why pretty much everything I make ends up being a 3D item. Okay, so I'm gonna add some trees here. <clears throat> because no card is complete without some pebbles. I'm gonna pop, uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna put one of these ones down because I think we need a little bit extra color. But, <laughs> I have Donna talking in my head because right now I really just want those two. But if I don't put three, I'm in here for Donna. So I'm going to put a third one over there because I just like the way those two ended up. Okay, so now when I stand that up, whoop, trees are like that. Flipping it all the way around because remember, the middle part is the bottom. And what am I doing? Oh, I don't know. I never actually, I never actually got that far and made a plan. Let's put some mountains up here. Hmm. The question is, you know what? I think I'm just going to trim these because I think if I hang these off the card, whatever I end up doing for an envelope or whatever, I'm going to screw it up if this thing's hanging out too much. So this this die is awesome, also in the Horizon dies. Um, so I, I really didn't have to cut very much off to make it work. Well, miracles of miracles. I just realized I look up at the thing now that my camera is finally working properly and I'm in real time. 
hey, it only took 40 minutes. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the, uh, I like when I cut things like this, I, I need to, um, I need to remember the adhesive sheet because the adhesive sheet, same thing as the foam, you just put it on the back of the cardstock before you cut and it basically makes whatever you cut into a sticker. So it is the perfect thing for the very fine die cuts like this, where there's not as much space to glue things down. But if we just, I said, I, I was at a convention in Red Deer several years ago. Actually, when I think about it, how many years ago was that now? Got to, well, see, because I could now I got to, I think it was only a couple of years ago. Nope, factor in COVID. So that probably makes it four years ago, maybe three or four years ago, 2019, might've been 2019. And a lovely British lady was demoing, that's Diane. And that was her comment for making the, the glue dots work better, just to roll them like a booger. And said with her proper British accent, it was just like one of the highlights of the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna make this fit this way. And then yes, I'm putting some pebbles on the mountain too, because doesn't that make sense? Let's go figure out where. I'm gonna actually put them in the mountain. <laughs> because I can. I usually put them on the end. And in this case, I'm kind of going over top a little bit. I might even, I might, no, I might. I always pick one of each color too, for some reason. Um, but I'm kind of going over the die cut, die cut part. So it's, uh, oh, I'm going, I'm going nuts now. I'm going to put five of them on here because that works so well. I think I'm going to do the same thing over here. It just kind of helps hold it down because that's bopping around a little bit too much. And because we got to stick to the odd numbers, I can get away with just putting two here because that's what I need. Okay, so now, oops, my card's upside down. So now when we put our card up, we're holding on to our, uh, our foamy pieces, our dimension, dimensionalized pieces, but I'm not quite finished down here. But look at that. That's what you see sitting on your desk, telling you to have a happy Father's Day. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Like this. This is kind of a tone on tone thing. I think that's what I need over here. That, uh, that green that I went to so much trouble to put underneath, I don't actually like there. So I'm just gonna, ooh, look at that. That worked. I'm just gonna do a little fence work, a little pruning around the fence. I like this other color better. Not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna finish putzing with it afterward. Um, and I'm gonna put some more pebbles down by the end of the by the end of that. Um, and I'm gonna go. So that is basically the card. And I am going to remind you of a couple things while I finish putzing with this. But I realize if you're watching the game and you're like, oh, woman, stop talking. I got a game to go to. I will totally understand if that's exactly where you go now. Um, just a reminder though, that the last chance sale started, like I said, on Wednesday. So anything that's in the mini, there's very few things that carried over. So the stuff that's in the mini, um, if there's anything out of there you want, some of it's on sale. A lot of the dyes are 50% off. Um, if the dyes are 50% off, the dyes are going to go fast. So if you want a bundle, especially, um, where you want to get the stamp set and the dyes, you, you need to do that pretty quick. The last, the last catalog when the annual catalog sold out, because they used to be able, or sold out, um, retired, they used to be able to guarantee the stamps. Um, but now they're having just issues with the shipping of the raw materials to get in. So it's not as guaranteed as it was. But so this year was the first year where the stamps sold out really quickly because usually the stamps would be guaranteed, you know, pretty close to the edge because they make them in Utah and so it was easy to do, but not this time. And so holy cow, when they announced stuff, it sold out. So I expect that that's what's going to happen with the dies as well. These horizon dies, the paper, the stuff, everything is is retiring. Um, I can't remember if these particular dies are on sale. Um, but yeah, stuff's going to go fast. So if you want to do that, plus the buy one kit, get one kit for 50% off, just started. So both of those are basically run till the end of June. Kits, they've said there's lots of kits, so they hopefully won't run out of any of them, but um, because we can't back order anything anymore, 
if there if they did run out of something and there's a delay, you risk not being able to put your order in during the sale. And if the order doesn't go in during the sale, the sale prices won't count. Um, and they just released a new, a really cool memory keeping one that you could use for so many things, like scrapbooks, baby books. Um, my son and I went on a trip when he was, oh, how old would he have been? Four or five? Nope, he had to be a little bit older than that because he was just, he had just learned to write. Must have been grade two by then, must have been that trip. And um, he was just learning to write. He was not very good at it and he did not like to do it. Like asking him to write, you would have swore you were asking him to cut his head off. Um, but if he wrote in his travel journal every day, then at the end, I'm pretty sure because at that age, it would have been all about the Lego. There was Lego involved if he did. So each night he would sit down and he would, he had to get like sentences and he would get a few sentences. And what was important to him for the day was some of the most entertaining stuff to read. Um, and I do have that journal somewhere. We've moved it twice, I think since then. Nope, just once. Um, so I know I have it saved somewhere, but now that I'm saying it, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to find it and read it again because it was quite funny at the time. So yeah, making a travel journal, making a little, like you go on a road trip or you have a family reunion. Oh, there's so many things you could do with that journal. Uh, there's robot kits for classes or uh, for kids, if you wanna do, um, you wanna take them to the lake, summer holiday, like there's so many things. Those kits are awesome because everything you need to make whatever the project is, there's a magnet board there's some treat holders. There's some like little coaster like cards that come in a tin that are sort of like random acts of kindness thing. And then I think the rest of them are all cards. But to make those to, have, to be able to hand out um, everything you need in there, the, all you need is a, basically is a pair of scissors. This, the stamp sets in there, there's a block, there's a little ink pad. There's adhesive, there's embellishments. There's no little pebbles, but there's embellishments. Okay, so I have three, six, nine, I got 14 pebbles on this card. But look at that. 14 pebbles is worth it. To that. So I basically took that one piece of grass and just cut it into little chunks because I didn't want a big piece, but I wanted that color. So I just like made it last in a few different colors. So there we go. Thank you to Tamara for showing me this card. And thank you for all joining and watching my disaster of an evening. Um, with my camera issues throwing me off the whole time and making this amazing card. Thanks everyone. Have a great weekend. And uh, we'll be back here with something that I have yet to decide on uh, next Tuesday for show and tell with Tracy. Have a great weekend, everybody. Go Oilers, go.